We back with another one. Will they cheat? We will find out. <laughs> Today we're helping Xavier place his girlfriend's Bella to a loyalty test. If I were to put a girl to a test like this, she would probably fail. So I'm hoping that, you know, it's different for somebody else. Our decoy Cameron will be the one testing Bella's loyalty. He's going to pretend to be rich, hit on her, and then eventually ask her on a date. So how you like the crib? Like, you you really like the house? Like, I do. I love it. You love it? Come on. She, she loves it. Mm -hmm. A little more, you know, spend a little bit more time. What know? about this Drew ass house you love? You know what I'm saying? Like, this could be a reality, you know what I'm saying? Is that something that you'll be interested in? Type shit. What's up, bro? How you doing? Great, man. Great, great, great. Welcome to your crib, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> Good to be home. <laughs> so, Xavier, you managed to get away. I know. I told her that I was doing, like, training because I had, like, onboarding since I just, like, got this job. So, I mean, she didn't really question it too much. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Hey, yo, before this gets any further, like the video, subscribe. We almost to 2K subs. Man, I just need YouTube to push me in that algorithm. Y'all can help me with that. I know you can. Watch time, everything. Share with the friends. Did you get suspicious or no, anything? No, no, she didn't. She, we're Gucci good? Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, cool. Xavier just got a new job. So in order to meet us up, he told Bella they that he had mandatory training that he couldn't miss for a couple of hours. She doesn't know exactly how long, but okay. I just told her I just had paperwork to sign okay. and a couple of trainings to do. Now this loyalty test actually began yesterday. We instructed Xavier to bring Bella to this restaurant to have lunch with his supposed friend, Ken. This was phase one of our test. I'm definitely going to test her and see what, <laughs> see what she wants to do, but all in all, Oh, man, I really do hope she passes. After waiting for some time, Xavier eventually texted Ken that he was here. I don't see them anywhere. Do you see them? Oh, no, nah, I don't see them. Oh, there they are. I see them. Dude, what's up? Oh, bro, it's been forever, dude. Hello, man. How you been? Chilling. Sorry, Bella. Hi. Bella. Nice to meet you, nice Ken. To meet you. Yeah, I've heard a little bit about you. You guys ready to get something to eat? Ken is pretending to be Xavier's friend whom Bella has never met. We knew she wouldn't question this because, well, Bella hasn't okay, met sorry, any of Sorry for pausing. I just have a thing, like... If I was the person in the loyalty test, say even if I don't cheat, I'm going to feel a type of way. Be like, you don't trust me? You have a whole loyalty test on my ass? Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Look at Xavier's going, friends. You see, she actually lives in a different state. Yeah, these two are in a long distance relationship and that's one of the reasons why Xavier wanted to test Bella. She and Xavier met while Xavier was out in Arizona doing a fitness Excuse expo. He's trust into fitness issues. and she's a college student there. She also dances and bartends part time, which is useful information that Cameron will use to his advantage. I actually met her on, on campus. She goes to school. That's cool. Wait, what are you what are you going to school for right now? We love an educated now, yeah, girl. While California and Arizona ain't exactly the furthest, 400 miles is still 400 miles. Good brain. At first she I thought on the it was like 100% that hmm. I was in the work. Um, I didn't realize how hard it would actually be like once I actually like started doing it and I'm like far away from her yeah but like slowly recently it's been getting like we've been lagging on each other mm. oh they long distance it's over <laughs> it's over any of y'all going into college long distance pack your bags it's over <laughs> It's not like even like just the fact that it would be it's... just her. Like sometimes like I'll be lagging too, but I feel like she kind of does it in like kind of spite. You got eyes on them, right, Andrew? Yeah, She's in her over. prime. So yeah, so what did you say you've been up to recently? Um, gym. Just uh, got the new gig selling like home theater stuff. I see why he's kind of tripping. I mean, she's pretty and she's, you know, like she's in college. She's a bartender. She's a dancer. Like, yeah. She has a lot of things that would attract guys to her. And it's college. You know, they all have the same goal. Nobody's in there like looking for love or anything like that. Like they're looking for a good time. How do, how do you like being out here in California? I mean, I just got here today. What's it's nice. It's not... In order to pull this test, Xavier convinced Bella to fly out to California. She would be staying with him over the weekend, but we helped him cover her flights and her expenses here. I honestly felt a little bad because she thought she was going to be here on a weekend vacation, but we got to help the homie pull this test. Long distance relationships as fun. is our heart. And honestly, if she's willing to cheat here in California while on vacation, he's got to for sure drop her after that because who knows what she'd be willing to do 400 right, miles bro. away in Arizona when he's not there. So what do you guys, uh, what do you guys have planned for this weekend? Can we talk about going to the beach? I was gonna say, bro, if you're not doing anything, you should come uh, visit my place. It's like about five minutes, five, ten minutes away from the beach, actually. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I mean, I'd be down. Would you be down? Yeah. The purpose for this phase was to invite the couple over to Ken and Cameron's supposed home. It's actually Cameron's house. 
Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know you didn't really like talk to him that much, but- um, So you stay with him? I stay with him, yeah, I stay oh, with wow. him. I've never met a shy bartender or a dancer before, but we still wanted to ease this test in. We didn't okay, want to make okay. Bella suspicious or uncomfortable. See, this, like, Worst case setup. scenario, she's got no choice, you yeah, know? For sure. We want to make her we feel usually, like she has a yeah. choice. We usually skip this part, but <laughs> I let it rock. You're coming to my house. <laughs> it sounds bad, but it's true. Bella was staying with Xavier, so she had to do what he was down to do. Bro, do you remember how I used to be really into Funko Pops? This might seem really childish, Bella, but I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Phase one was a success. The couple was invited over and Ken began laying down the building blocks for the rest of our plan. I feel like it's better to, yeah, for sure, to make it like a more multiple step plan Funko just because we try to like, I feel like rush it all in one day. Yeah. It won't be as realistic. Yeah. At least like I'm thinking like that's how she'll think. I agree. Like she might catch on or something, but. Yeah. Alrighty, bro. Good luck, man. Once you get back, you'll see Ken out here. You'll meet up with him and we're in the zone, okay? okay. We're going, we're going, okay? All right, all right, cool, you got it? All right, we'll see you, bro. Xavier began making his way back home. He would be bringing Bella over within the next two hours, exactly as they planned yesterday. Damn. This gave us more than enough time to make sure we were damn, ready damn. to go for phase two of this test. Nervous for I don't have a good feeling that she's gonna pass this you don't test. You she's gonna pass? No. Why don't you think that? Because they already seem to have trust issues with each other. She lives in LA, she lives in Arizona. You don't get to see what she does every day, so I could understand why he would have paranoia, but it doesn't mean she's cheating. I'm not even Listen, sure guys. that she's cheating right now, but I do think given the opportunity for something better. I'm gonna save y'all some headache. If you have trust issues, like you think she's cheating, even though you have no proof and shit, It'd be healthier to break up with her and get some help, bruh. I don't know. What if she is? What are you going to do? Hmm? <laughs> Either you get some help for yourself or talk to her. Learn how to communicate. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. I don't know how to help you. Better she make sure. Oh, okay. Xavier just texted me that he is 10 minutes out. Ken, I think you should start getting to position. Remember to take the walkie with you. Over. 10 4 10 4. Copy on that. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. We were now Leave only 10 minutes away from show you do with They're this? having a long distance relationship okay. right now. Long distances work. Trust I have a issues. friend. His girlfriend's in Tennessee. He's out in LA. And they make it work. Ken was dating someone from Paris and was literally flying from every other weekend. It's crazy. And they still had loyalty issues. He just said parking should be there right now. Here we go. Where are they going to come from is the question. Where did they park? Oh. Yo, what's up, X? What's up, Ken? Oh, man, how you doing? Good, yeah. You came, bro. Bro, who's on three? Is this? Oh, dude, that's actually Cameron's, bro. Bro, no way. I know it's pretty sick, huh? Bella, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. As you can see, these are all the pops that I have. So the couple arrives, greets Ken, and he shows off his pops collection. If you guys recall, yesterday Ken told them this. I have a huge buyer tomorrow that's picking up uh, like a few thousand dollars worth of my collection tomorrow, dude. Oh, wow. Ken is pretending to collect and resell Funko Pops. Supposedly, he's got to drop these off to a big buyer today. But in reality, we're using these pops as Xavier and Ken's excuse to exit the scene. This is the house. Yo. Yo, no way. Ah, <laughs> oh, what's going on, X? Damn, it's been a minute, dog. You straight? Man, you look good, man. Oh, I don't know. The this right dude. here is to make the Bella comfortable. Is the plan is Morning. to leave her by herself with Cameron, so we don't need her to be shy or nothing like that. So you live in Arizona she looks like now? She's had oh, okay, okay, okay. We're talking about like walking the pier, but like that could... no, no, no. We can do that today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We look, bro, bro. This is right near the pier, dude. We, so we can go to the pier, chill after sunset. Hey, we can come back here and just chill out by the pool and like that. The guys continue breaking the ice, chill, and Cameron chill. nonchalantly continues to show off his lavish home. The odds of Bella cheating with a guy who's a whole state away are slim. If this guy is rich, though, that might even out the playing field. Everything so far is going as planned. Do you like party yeah. out in Arizona? Like, how's the vibe out there? Like, is it kind of not much to do? Oh, but you'll love it out oh, here in LA. Like, right, it's good. We're getting her talking. You want to like normal person with your teeth? We got this room here. It's like worse. a celebrity crush. <laughs> Oof. You already know they would. Oof. A game room that we have. Earlier we were playing some Connect Four and stuff like that, bro. Now, instead of selling Funko Pops or just pretending to be rich, you could actually make some money by playing games on your phone. All you got to do is sign up for Cash Kick. Cash Kick is a platform that has bye, how bye, low. Bye. Now you can start. I mean, it's anyways. You might as well make some money. Yeah, I've been. Asking Risk getting right the now, character that you see on the screen. Her celebrity we now get a little dolls. Cameron and Bella by themselves. Yeah, do you know what Funko Pops are? Yeah, like the little. Yeah, yeah, yeah like the little dolls. You don't have any? You know, actually, what time is it? Hold it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm actually supposed to meet with the buyer. Oh, so I gotta get going. Do you still want to go with me? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely want to see that. For sure. I think maybe only one of you guys can fit because I don't really have that much space to be honest. But it, it's as a general like, rule, would you mind don't ask like, a question. <laughs> you don't want the answers. It's gonna be quick, so I mean, yeah, that's no problem. We'll do something. Yeah, for sure. It's, 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 it's we'll be like right back. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she can hang out here. That's no problem. Cool. So with a little help from Cameron and some social pressure, Ken and Xavier are finally able to exit the scene. Yeah, y'all drive safe, bro. We'll see me get back. Oh, man, okay, cool. All we got to do now is sneak them back into the house. And that's where Kyle comes in. Yeah, just go down next to that car down there. You sure you don't want anything to drink or a snack or... A water? Yeah, I got you. This house did not have a side entrance, so to sneak Xavier upstairs, he and Ken first pretend to drive off. But yeah, let's play some, uh, let's play some Connect Four over here. After parking down the street, Ken and Xavier sneak their way to the side gate of the house. Look at these sketchy mother go. Someone's about to call the cops. No, they're not black. Obviously, they're not gonna call the cops. <laughs> if it was you and me running, <laughs> they saw us wow. running down the street and trying to break into the house. We wouldn't, yeah. we, we wouldn't even make it to the door. Sergio, we're in position. <laughs> Copy that. Send again, Kyle. Kyle, go ahead and make your entrance. Okay, I'm coming. And with that, Kyle heads to the home to distract Cameron and Bella. Kyle's heading in right now with a hundred thousand dollar watch. So you're a bartender, you dance, you go to school. What do you study in school? Psychology. Oh, so you're like studying to be a mind reader. Kyle's at the front door, Ken. You can go ahead and go to the corner. Yeah, but um, I just oh wait, hold on. I think it's my uh, assistant. Hold your position. Hold your position. I'll tell you when she goes to the door. Hey, what's up, my bro? Yo, what's up, my dog? How's it going, bro? It's going good, man. Okay, so I got. I went to the Rolex store. They got your watch custom made. This is probably one of the craziest freaking watches I have ever seen in my Bruh. entire life. Hey, hey, Bella, come take, come take a look at this real quick. Where you at? Come around. I just got this new. Come come check out this new Rolex real quick. Like Sorry, that. I don't want to be too far from the box. She's going to the door. Like Wait, there. Wait there. Not yet. Not yet. Kyle, this is Bella. I'm gonna close this. I don't want the draft to come in or anything like that. How you feel about this watch? It's super super. Solid snake. Yeah. Now, go 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 go. Go go go. When it first came out, it literally was selling for like 520k. Like it was an exclusive by John Mayer. <laughs> God, it's so bad. I mean, to even be able to go ring with it, it says everything. No way. They hit their loud ass stop. <laughs> Appreciate you. You got the other thing to I handle for me too, right? Sure. Call me if you need anything. Appreciate else. you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Very nice meeting you. How's everything suspected? She's suspecting anything? I don't think so. I know. It's good. good. Yeah. Gucci. Oh, yeah. That's my guy. But yeah, how do you feel about the watch? Do you really like it? Does this. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Is this so fake? For you, I like it. No. For me? Smaller no. watches? Okay. You should be taking her back to the game room right now. All right, well, let's head back to this game. You're not getting out of this ass whooping. With Xavier now safely in the room, Cameron was free to start working his way into making his move. I know that girl's about to fail hardcore. Why? Because she saw how handsome and rich and flamboyant and sexy and good looking and charismatic and charming and amazing that you are. Is that what it is? Flamboyant? I don't know if I don't know if Bella's going to fail or not, but I think we did oh, a hell of a good job great. making sure our decoys look twitch. The house, the car, the Rolex, I mean, that all might make a difference. Let's play some Uno. I got you. <laughs> Damn, all right there, all right there, all right there. Hopefully Bella will remain loyal, because long distance cheating, whew, that is on a whole other level. They're like the long distance right now, they're right next to each other. You know how to shuffle? Matter of fact, you shuffle. No, you shuffle. No, oh, I can shuffle, okay, bet, because I don't want no excuses. You being like, oh, you didn't, you didn't sabotage the cards, blah, blah, blah. You know how to play with no one tech, though? Man, I'm a talker. I've told you, that's my love language. If I ain't talking no Wait. Yeah, if, I, if I'm talking shit, I'm with you for sure. You should definitely come out here mm. some more for sure. Like, and you said that you're dancing and stuff like that too. Like, I got some connects. Like, I could really get you in some stuff. Like, ain't no work happening in Arizona. Like, you said you in the middle of nowhere, Arizona too. So, Stop. hey, you know, Arizona, I know you gotta take those. You grab them. You go first though. Scorpions. Anything a red flag for you yet? Unnecessarily. Um, Nothing too bad, I guess. And so with that, Cameron and Bella begin playing some Uno. The Cameron the uses the game to continue breaking the it's ice, getting Scorpion. friendly with her, and getting her to open up. Eventually, he switches to Connect Four, cueing us that he was getting ready to make his oh, move. No, yeah, do He's going to be making his move pretty soon <laughs> here. Okay, so. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think. Oh, she's so nervous. I got you nervous, huh? Nah, you didn't seem nervous ever since, you know, Xavier left. I don't know. It, it, you just clumsy or you nervous? I'm just Hmm. I hear you. It's your turn. Go ahead. I think. Is it? It is my turn. Oh, okay. Thinking. Oh, you think? Yeah, think hard. Uh, Don't think too long. Okay, bet. But anyway, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So how you like the crib? Like you, you really like the house? Like I do. I love it. You love it. It's so nice. Oh. Yeah, it's cool. I I mean, you gotta game. imagine, you know, you can come out here a little more, you know, spend spend a little bit more time, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, here we go. I think this. I can tell you right now, it's cooked. Can you imagine living here? I live here. <laughs> hmm. What are you saying right now? It's like you're kind of inviting yourself in. It's over. It's over. He's cooked. He's done. This might be it. You ain't he gotta won imagine, already. You know what I'm saying? It can, it can be reality, but you know. That's on you. I, what do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, like, you can just come out, like, come out more, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can show you around, like, you want to hit the city? I know, like, the best steak houses. I know the best seafood. Like, what you into? What kind of food you like? I like seafood. Seafood? Yeah. Bet. We got no boo right up the road. I know the manager and all that. Like, no boo? Yeah. No it's resistance like, is crazy. Yeah, it's like a sushi. Like, sushi, seafood. You like sushi? Yeah. For real, like, we can really do that. Like, you're real beautiful. Like, you got a cool vibe. You, you dress cool. Like, I think you'd be some good company for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that something that you would be interested in? Maybe. A little bit, maybe, yeah. I mean... Do you guys have anything planned maybe for today possibly. or tomorrow? Uh, I mean, so we're gonna hang out You know what today. I mean? Mm. Mm. Um, I got you. Well, tomorrow, like, I can make myself fully available to you. But if not, I then... I guess I, like, could say, like... Maybe, maybe. Maybe? Know. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Here's my phone. Uh, put your number in real quick. It's, and then, it's really uh, this easy. Yeah, we'll get into it. It's really this easy. <laughs> and so just like that, Bella gives Cameron her number and seemingly agrees to go to Nobu with him. All right, lose faith. I gotta call it because I don't know. You, you know, I got, yeah, call it because I don't know. You, you give me the wrong number and I'm just sitting here calling it. Yeah, no, I don't think I would classify this as a fail just yet. Bella's intentions weren't clear. Cameron came off a little rambly, nervous, and vague, if I'm being honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, he got the number, so we could move on to a phase three. You think she's saying this because she's just being nice or because she just feels uncomfortable or awkward? You think she's just saying whatever he wants to hear? Just playing devil's advocate here, right? Yeah. All right, so we could. All right, bet. Well, that sounds good. Well, shit. Tomorrow, you Maybe. better be free. You got clothes? Like, you got date night clothes? Or I got, I got to, like, I got to get my car let you go shopping a little bit. Because if you're going out with me, you got to come correct. Like, like you got to come here. with some style. What you talking about? You sure? You sure? I mean, I can buy you some, you some about jewelry. Right like, I got a black card. I can just, like. OK, this began changing things for me. Now oh, it's starting to sound like she's failing because Cameron is being more direct. Huh. I guess the man works backwards. Money's money's no no problem. I like that. Yeah, you like that? What else you like? Mm, oh, you like the pool? We going? I'm talking about me. We ain't talking about no pool. But it's alright. We'll talk about that tomorrow dinner. We ain't gotta worry about that right now. You like, like outside? Mm -hmm. You like you like all that? You like me? Yeah. You like me? Okay. What did I say? Okay, I like you for sure. You cool. We'll see how you are tomorrow. You know, you a little, you a little shy now, but yeah, tomorrow we definitely gonna open you up a little. I bit, do, you know I open but you, I do. Anyway, cool. but let me finish busting your ass. Yeah, by this little interaction alone, she clearly senses that he's flirting with her, and she's I'll not shooting it down. Is she into him though, or is she just into the money and the opportunity? I don't want to say it's like a hundred percent fail so far. I want to see if she's maybe gonna like tell me about right. like and say like, oh, I was just doing that. I was uncomfortable. You were gone. Right. So that's what I'm like. I'm hoping for, but. At the same time, I don't know that there's definitely better ways of going about that. Like, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, though, it's on you. I know you said you wanted to keep this thing going. You still want to do that? Well, 100%. And you're still cool with trying to finish it today? Yeah. Cool. Cameron told Bella that they would hang out tomorrow, but the plan was to finish this test today. We already had an excuse to get Bella to come back. I'm trying to stay optimistic that she's yeah. just going to tell me. But yeah. yeah. And, that, and that, too, try to give her a chance to, like, come clean. To tell say something. you, like... Yeah, I can just be like, oh, what you guys talk about? Mm. And then see what she says. Should I be recording that part or like somehow like voice memo or something? Or? I mean, that'd be pretty cool if you could get it on a voice memo. That'd be actually really cool. Okay. That'd be actually really cool. I need a little snack. You want to get like a little snack out of the kitchen or something like that? Sure. Yeah, come on. For now, boss. Cameron's job was done. Our new priority was to get Ken and Xavier back into the scene. Hey, Kyle, we need an excuse to get these guys back downstairs. As long as it's not, I got it. That was what he wanted to do for his birthday. So, like, I it was super cool, fine. though. It was like a Mario Kart thing. We drove to the city. But who is that? Oh, f***. Lincoln, yes, what's up, man? How are you, bro? I need your help with the car. Do you want to have her come out? Yeah, hey, Bella, real quick, come here. 
I wasn't entirely sure what the excuse to get Bella out the house was, but hey, when you're in a stranger's house, you usually do what they say. Have you seen the new M3 competition sports before? Like, it's the new, the new BMW. No, yeah, it's literally people like one quite, of yeah. 350 ever made. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. The keys got locked inside, so I'm trying oh. to figure out how to do it from your app. Oh my God. <laughs> do you think the outside is cool? Wait till you see the inside. Go ahead, take a look. I love the red. Yeah. So I guess the excuse was that the car keys were locked in the car and they needed Cameron's phone to unlock it. A little random and odd, but Bella didn't question it and it got the job done. Alrighty, you guys are good. So crazy. As they come in, they go out. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Ken, you're gonna not move your car back. You can just say that you parked it down the street or heck, she might not even question it, but just leave it walking outside and turn it off. Top down then. Do you have like a dream car or anything like that? Yeah, I would like a Porsche. A Porsche? Alrighty, guys, well, that's it. Damn. That's probably them right now. I'm a little on the fence where, like, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and just think that she's just trying to be nice. Well, not trying to be nice. More like, hey, let me just tell him what he wants to hear. We were keeping this test going, so we were going to learn Bella's intentions soon enough. We just had to get her and Xavier out of there. And the excuse was that Xavier got called in for work. Remember, Xavier actually just got a new job, so we were using that to our advantage. Did you yeah. get, like, a call or something? They just yeah. called me in, but I, it's a new gig, so I don't really want to, like... Oh, oh you got called in to, like, work? Yeah. Oh. Things, I they gave it to you. They did, but someone called out the closer. So Dang. I got a, I got a four hour. Yeah, hand, hand, your, hand your business, bro, like for sure. So you just start a new job. You, you guys are still down, maybe maybe later tonight when I get out. Probably work out better that way anyway, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Do your thing, bro. Hell yeah, good scene. Nice meeting you, Bella. We'll definitely be well acquainted. We'll talk soon. And with that, phase two officially came to an end. The plan was to execute phase three in a couple of hours. Well, oh, this sad ass face yeah, but did you see the look? But did you look at the look of her face when she saw that car? Well, everybody looks at a car doesn't mean she's a cheater. Just because she looked at a car makes her guilty. I mean, that wasn't. Like, did you guys have fun? He was fine. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Ken in forever, so I just, he kind of put me in the spot to like, go with him. And yeah. I, I felt bad leaving you, but um, what did you guys do? Yeah, I just played Connect Four and just like talked a little, you know. Okay, what did you guys talk about? Um, just like Arizona, um, let's say really, nothing crazy. Arizona? Yeah. Like, okay. I haven't talked to him in like forever, so I was just wondering, you've talked to him more She than didn't that. say. Uh, he wants to fly me out here. Probably like the last two years. Yeah. Uh, anything else? She's getting flewed out. Not really. Nothing. Mm -hmm. oh. How was the whole sale go? Like, how did that go? Oh, that was really cool. I mean, like, a grand. And, like, All of those Funko Pops? It was a lot of Funkos, but That's it was like... crazy. Yeah. So as you guys just heard, Bella did not tell Xavier everything. And I hate to say it, but that's a huge red flag. Honestly, like, she was really shy at first. But when I started, like, opening up about, like, opportunities and stuff, that's when she, like, got into it. And okay. I feel like she no, broke out of her shell a little bit. Okay. So, and I started talking about money. I think that's money. when she was just she's like, oh, okay. Bed. Anybody gets excited. She's trying to be a When you see a nice watch, when you see a nice car, when you see a nice house, we all get excited. True. It doesn't automatically make you a cheater. She could just be trying to use me. She could just be trying she to use me. She wasn't, like, hella, like, she wasn't, like, super 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 flirty like i think she could be an opportunist if you have a partner yeah. who is willing to go see another guy that they just met regardless of their yeah, financial here's the thing here's the thing if she's an opportunist she would have told him that the her boyfriend she would have told her boyfriend that oh i got opportunities out here shit like that but she didn't because she doesn't want him to suspect her which makes it more suspectful Situation. And she does nothing with you. But you don't consider that cheating? Not, when your partner goes out with the person of the opposite sex, you don't consider that cheating? It's not a it's not a good look. No, that's a hundred percent cheating. Yeah. Let me take it out of your head. I heard you guys were running oh. a little late. This was wild. We don't usually record a three-phase test in two Hawaiian. consecutive days, but we figured that it was best to just finish this since Bella's from out of town and she's staying with Xavier. I mean, we didn't want him wondering if she was gonna stay loyal the entire weekend. So as soon as he was able to get away, he texted me that he was on his way back. How'd it go? I think it went good. Is she suspecting anything? Don't think so, no. She believes you're at work right now? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's, dude, I was just like thinking in my head, this is freaking crazy. She didn't tell me about the phone number. She didn't mention that. She didn't mention about like him giving her connections. Yeah, hopefully she goes to him right now. Right we're going to have him call him. He's sick. getting ready and we're finishing setting everything up. But honestly, she could save herself if she goes to him. Everyone's definition He's of cheating in a relationship well. is different. So what would you consider a fail to be for you? Well, I mean, if it's her number. I'd be sick. I'd be like, oh my God, bro. <laughs> it's 
so much anxiety. For like her real number, I already consider that a fail. Just because she didn't tell me about it, she didn't tell me nothing. So if this is her number, then I already consider that a fail for sure. Hopefully you go straight to voice. Let's see, let's see if she even answers. Yo, this is, uh, this is Bella, right? Yeah, who is this? It's Cam. Yeah, you, you just, damn, how many numbers you give out today? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say me yet. Oh, didn't say, well, lock me in now. You, you gotta take yeah. me serious, you but is this, is, uh, is this a good time? Uh, yeah, I can talk. All right, you can talk? All right, cool. Well, I know earlier, um, Xavier said that he had to work and whatnot. Like, is he gone or, like, is he still around or, or what? Yeah, he's gone. All right. Well, listen. I know we we made plans for tomorrow, but I mean, since your boyfriend's at work, like, what do you think about hanging out tonight instead? I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't know. I don't know. Maybe to get ready, and like, I, mean, I don't. I don't want to leave her to come back. Like, <gasps> she's not even concerned about. She's just concerned about getting caught. <gasps> I don't know, like we're dating and I don't know. No, it's, I don't want to get caught crazy. She's done this before. This ain't the first time, Xavier. This ain't the first and it's not the last. God. I mean, he's at work, you know, he should be on for a while. I'm like, how you feel about it? I mean, I don't know, like he's gonna only be gone for like four hours, so. I mean, that's perfect. I mean, you take like a little hour to get ready. I send a drive over to you, pick you up. Um, yeah, you know, we do our thing. I take you back. It's like it's like it never happened. But I think we could pull it off for sure. I mean, I, I want to go, but I don't know if I'm really ready to go out anywhere right now. Like, what if his roommates, like, say something? I don't know. I mean, you can make up some sort of excuse, like, you know, you, you go on to see some family or some friends or something. Like, it, it's got to be something that you can say. And, and they don't know you. It's not like they're going to question or pressure you about it. Like, they're just going to be like, oh, okay, for sure. And just leave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can they? Yeah, I can, say, I can send them to run some air. I can keep it busy for a few hours. Like, we're going to kick it for two hours, you know, something real quick, and I'm going to send you right back. It's like it never happened. It's going to be fun for sure. All right. All right, so how long you need about like 30 minutes, like an hour, like how, like, I'm trying to figure out what time to send my driver over to get you. Oh, you're gonna send a driver? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send you a driver, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but nothing about this phone call sounded innocent. Bella was failing big time. Okay. All right, yeah, just uh, just let me know when to send a driver and send me the address, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, so I would consider that a fail already, honestly. But yeah, I'll toss my yeah, yeah, yeah. fail. That's it, it's a fail, man. I just, I'm thinking about what she's gonna say. It's like, if you want solid but, proof, like I'll really yeah. like press her, you know, I'll try to, you know, do whatever, go all the way. I'll, all right. Bella coming over while on quote unquote vacation and while way. her boyfriend is at work is wild. I'm like going I said, all that way, is some buddy. next no level way. cheating. Kyle's on his way to pick her up. I'll keep you updated. I'm ready to get to it. It's crazy. We're <laughs> legit here. Three, four hours ago. Holy cow. I have deja vu. I so we kind of adjusted the front camera. Kyle will be the one picking up Bella and bringing her here. But of course, the camera that we set up in his car would have died halfway through the drive. Thankfully, though, his mic was still rolling. Like I said earlier, I, I think she already failed, but it's more of like the, I know how she is. She's going to try to mani manipulate yeah. the situation. Damn. Yeah. I mean, she, I think she got a her chance to save herself. 100%. I get why you want to go forward, though, and see the extra proof so, so she has no excuses. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he, so I feel you with that, man. Just to me, it's just wild because you're supposed to be working, and she's... He's over here like this. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Hey, mate, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Coming here. For lack of a better phrase, I feel like this was one of the easier tests to pass. I mean, Bella's from out of town. Xavier flew her out. She's staying with him. If he was on the front or even back of her mind, she would have easily said no. Hey, how are you? Are you good to see you again? Of course. So what's the plan after this? I, I don't know. I, I'm for sure it... it if she shows up, her can't. She's gonna have to figure her own way back home, like plane wise. You're stuff. gonna cancel her flight. Well, hundred percent. Yeah, all her stuff is at my house right now, so I don't know like what she's gonna do with that. Like, so you're gonna cancel her flight back home? Would you let her stay with you still? No. 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 
This sounds harsh, but at the same time, come on now. Bella was given a choice and she chose to trade her boyfriend out for another man. You can't give someone your loyalty if it isn't reciprocated back. I don't blame you if you don't let, us, let her stay with you for the rest of her trip. I don't blame you if you cancel her flight back home. I mean, it just sucks, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna see your car. We gotta move your car. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, let's that. go move your car. No, we're gonna go move his car. We gotta move his car. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what a rookie mistake. We were so caught up in the moment that we forgot to move Xavier's car. This one little oversight could have cost us the entire test. That was a close one. <laughs> Damn. I almost ruined everything. No, dude. I mean, hey, in our defense, it's been a long freaking day. Like I said, we usually don't pull three face tests in two days. Oh, he's here. Listen. He's here. He's here. Perfect. I'm sure he's very excited to see you. Let me go and get your door for you. Kyle's coming out. Check this out, guys. This is Kyle, Mr. Chauffeur. With Bella now here, I mean, that was it. She officially sealed her fate. What is she wearing? What's going on? How you doing? Good, how you are good? You? Good, good, good. You straight? Yeah, I gotta go upstairs and check the heater really quickly. All right, it's crazy. Yeah, do your thing. Thank you. You look good. Bella knows exactly what she's doing. I mean, she came dressed to go out to dinner. Obviously, though, that isn't gonna be happening. Got a little surprise for us, a little champagne, you know, just to, you know what I'm saying, get us all started and whatnot. We don't really drink champagne. You don't really drink champagne? Yeah, now you do, for sure. <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she's done for. This is a mad affair. She's over at another guy's house, bro, drinking champagne with him while you're at work. You look a little too good. Earlier you were you chilling, sick. but you didn't dress up now, so you're a, little, you're a little different now. But yeah, do you want to check out the pool? What you want to do? With champagne in hand, Cameron begins taking Bella over to the pool. Look at the view. It's really unbeatable. This is the place to be at nighttime. There are some that may still defend Bella and say that she's only here for networking or the opportunity or just to hang out. Xavier wanted to cast all that doubt away. All right, we got to get in. Cameron manages to convince Bella to dip their feet in the pool. Is it warm enough? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm trying not to fall over. There, there you go. Champagne kicking in. Mm -hmm. Champagne. <laughs> it's it's champagne kicking in already? Lightweight. Oh, it is warm. I told you, saw, you thought I was a liar? I'm not you. Oh, Damn. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right, here we go, bro. Man, you look too good. And see, you got your little lip gloss on and everything else. Like, you really, you really did it. Like, you you was beautiful before, but now it's like. If she kisses him, then we can just go. Mm, you're looking too, 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 too good. Mm. I've been looking at your lips all day. You got some nice lips Wait, on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get like a little pack. Nothing crazy. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Sick. Sick. What do you say? A twelve with switches. <laughs> sick. It's sick. Are we, are we good to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we're going in. We're going in. That was fast, quick, and to the point. There was literally zero hesitation. That's what I'm gonna say. She did not hesitate at all. Fellas, fellas, look at me, look at me. Long distance relationships. This will happen 80% of the time. It's not even her. I don't even blame her. I don't. You know what you got yourself into. I warned you. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You look too good. Mm, yeah, I love this color on you. Hold, hold, hold on, on. I, I would walk out like this. I would walk out like this. It's a nice view out here. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Xavier, give us some time to uh, adjust for you. Of course, we would start doing? having some technical difficulties as we were about to go in. If you want to, I can get a personal chef to just come through. We can kick it here at the crib. We ain't gotta. After making sure our equipment was good to go, we began making our way back in. Everybody good? It's been a long and crazy ride, but I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This they, shit's going to have these commercial breaks, but is this on commercial? I mean, is this on TV television? So what are you doing? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? You think what I'm at work still? Here? What are you doing here? Is, is this your girlfriend? What is this? Yo, you're f***ing cheating on me. Why are the cameras here? Don't worry about the cameras. You're f***ing cheating on me. We saw everything. Since you put your number in his phone, we have all that on footage. You're f cheating on me. 
What do you mean? What am I doing? I just <sighs> seen. Every she is a manipulator. She is. She didn't. Oh my god. She's putting it on him instantly. Everything. You just gave him a fucking kiss, and he's over here grabbing you. You're just okay with it? I left you alone for fucking twenty minutes, and you put your number on your phone. What's up with that? You're just hanging out. I gave you since to give me a call, or even when I asked you in the car, I said, "Oh, did anything else happen?" You didn't say none of that. You lied to me. Nothing happened. We didn't do anything. You mean nothing happened? I just seen everything. This whole thing was a fucking setup. So, Bella, so just so you're aware, like this entire thing was basically just a loyalty test. We're aware that you guys have a long distance relationship and everything, and Xavier just wanted no, to see spiraling. if you stay loyal to him or not. You got uh, caught plain and simple. This ain't even in his fing house. Yeah, we set up this entire test. Cameron doesn't really live here. Like, this entire thing was just a test. Obviously, your boyfriend's not really at work. He never was at work. He didn't go to work this morning. He wasn't He's at sick. work right now. Um, we just wanted to see what you would do home. if, you know. I just need to go you're home, crazy. bro. How the f am I crazy? You're you just got caught plain and simple. You're crazy. How the f am I crazy? So toxic, How am I talking? You just She's cheated on. She is. Mm. You're crazy. Extra. You just you cheated on me. Up. That's so extra. Yeah. I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. Hey, and look, That's what you I am. failed. That's so where, where are you going? You're not going back to my house. So where am I supposed to go? You gotta figure it out, cause you're not going back to my house. Where the f am I gonna go? I don't f know. Wait, wait, here. didn't didn't you tell Cam that you have girlfriends out here? Maybe go with one, one of them. Or maybe one of your dudes from Arizona. Since every time you be lagging on me, now I know what the f you be doing. I don't, I'll f throw that to the street and you can pick that up. That's where you f belong anyways. How the f am I a dork? You just cheated on me. Yo. Hey, you're, you're, what are you gonna do to get back home? Your flight's canceled. I'm gonna cancel that. Yeah, I paid for it. You wasted plenty of my money and my time. You were about to Since go skinny dipping with this dad. man. No, I wasn't. You mean no, you were, wasn't. Oh my god, it's exactly. ridiculous. Wasting my thing. time. You know that, right? I'm so what? You were so stupid. How the fuck am I stupid? I mean, you're like manipulating. Like you just kissed me and everything. Like that's cheating. Like if he did that to you, like you be you be sick, bro. Like like be I just real. I say this whole episode. No. What? What, what, what was it like that? Everything was on footage since yesterday. That's Don't crazy. you feel dumb? Like everybody know you're gaslighting right now. They'll, everything's on. Yeah, you're gaslighting. Made me me look like the crazy one, saying I'm psycho. You do sound crazy. How the fuck am I crazy? Well, are we not in a relationship? Were we supposed to be working on us? My yeah, that will it's be. Like, where are you street, going? Like I said. You didn't drive here. Yeah, whatever. Where are you going? <laughs> you good? I mean, I don't even feel bad. I mean, she told him she had friends out here, so I mean, she she can figure it out. I don't even want to see her face. Wow, so after just straight gaslighting Xavier, Bella was kicked out to the streets. Now, even though she was 100% in the wrong, uh, I did feel bad for her. Hey, Xavier, how's she gonna figure it out, dude? She says she has friends. Oh, she she has a whole contact list out here, too. Why the you guys me? Maybe Bella did have friends or a roster that could help her out. It still didn't change the fact that she was 400 miles away from home, though. Bella. Hey, Bella, well, we, we, we can, like, Call you an Uber. Are we can you, even book you a flight if you don't have a way to get home. We get that what the situation, but we don't want to get, at least get you home safely. Part of the whole setup. Regardless of the setup, we just want to make sure you get home safe. Do you have a way of getting back to Arizona safely? Do you, do you have her contact info? Yeah, I have her contact. Okay, Bella. We're not condoning Bella's actions, but we're also not about to let her figure this out on her own. Since Kyle has her contact info, can he can he help you figure it out? Here's what we'll do. Look, I'll call an Uber for you right now to get to your place or to Xavier's place, whatever. We'll organize with Xavier to get your stuff and we'll organize your flight back home. Xavier's not going to do this out of his nope. own pocket. We'll do it out of our pocket to help you. Come over. Okay. All right, let's cut the cameras. You want to go talk to Xavier? Yep, I got you. Are. But I'm okay with making sure she got home safely. She could cheat all. All right, brother. She can cheat. She wants in Arizona. Fuck her. All right, guys. Let me read these comments real quick. You thought I was a liar? I'm not you. <laughs> it's funny. And he immediately took off the headphones when they kissed. He's way too fine. We go. <laughs> oh. Pause. I'm not reading that. <laughs> uh. All right, guys. Like the video, subscribe, I'll be back for more. <laughs>